Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Sunday the 16th of May 2021. Not a lot going on today but I'm going to bring you something and in today's Daily Mill video we've got more from Sean Williams. So there's some South London press interviews Sean Williams and they've stretched it out over two days. If you see uh, yesterday's video you'll see um, Sean Williams interview with South London Press and here's the rest of it this is from londonnewsonline.co.uk which is the South London Press's online website and it says Sean Williams reveals his best piece of advice for Mills young prospects Mills young players have benefited from Sean Williams advice this season the veteran midfielder 34 has been released by the Lions this summer but had also taken on some coaching duties in the 2021 campaign Asked about his best piece of advice for an aspiring player, William said, Are you doing as much as someone in the first team already? Are you eating right and training as hard as you can? At the end of the day, you're trying to take a place of a person already in the first team. For instance, are they doing enough to make themselves better than the Hutch or Coops? If anything, they should be doing more. You get the f facilities and staff, so you're making the most of your career? If they look back and didn't have the career they wanted, would there be any regrets? I've tried to train as well as I can and look after myself and luckily enough I was able to play 295 games for Millwall. Williams picks out Jed Wallace as the best player from a technical aspect during his time with the Lions but there are also other ingredients that can be just as important to making a team tick. Jed is a match winner, said Williams. He has proven that in the last couple of years he can provide that moment in the game. He's been doing it in the championship and hitting double figures for goals and assists. I'm sure he'll continue that run of form he is on. But then overall there is Piercy and his qualities as a captain leader in general all round nice person in the current squad. In the past it would be Morrow and Greggs. I just felt when we turned up to a game and those two were on form we were unbeatable. They had a great relationship both on and off the pitch. It was a pleasure to play with them. I've seen people go the other way, affected neg negatively by Mill fans. You have to be a bit of a strong character and know what you are there for. It is your job and you have to try the best for your club. So there you go. Some words, more words of wisdom for Sean Williams. And moving on through a transfer target. Supposedly, I think it might be more clickbait, but this is from footballleagueworld.co.uk. And they start talking about uh, linking us with uh, midfielder Luke McGormack. Who is who was playing at Bristol Rovers in League One, and they got relegated. Uh, so that's another relegated player we're linked with. Um, and but he's actually a Chelsea player. He was on loan. So Chelsea stance over summer transfer for Millwall link midfielder revealed, because that's what happens. Apparently, this has come from uh, something that was in the Sun uh, today. I don't know. I in the print edition, it's not online. I don't, I don't know because I don't. I don't read the Sun. I don't read any papers. This is Chelsea are willing to let midfielder Luke McCormick leave the club for free this summer, provided there is a sell-on clause included in the deal. A report from the print edition of the Sun, sixteenth uh, of May, page fifteen, has claimed McCormick has enjoyed an impressive campaign on loan at Bristol Rovers this season despite their relegation to League 2 after a bottom place finish in League 1. Earlier this year it was reported by the same outlet that Millwall are interested in a deal for McCormick who scored 6 goals and provided 2 assists in 39 appearances for Bristol Rovers this season. Now it seems as though the Championship Club's hopes of doing that may have been a, a given a boost in their hopes In their hopes of doing that, yeah, that's you can tell it's clickbait because it doesn't even make fucking sense when you read it. Now it seems as though the championship club's hopes of doing that may have been given a boost in the hopes of doing that. Oi, oi, oi. According to this latest report, Chelsea are willing to let McCormick leave on a free transfer this summer, despite the fact that he still has a year remaining on his contract at Stamford Bridge. It's thought that, uh, it's thought that. That is on the condition that a sell-on clause is included in the deal that will enable the Blues to receive a portion of any fee that is paid to McCormick's next club for any future sale. And they give a verdict. It says, I do think that this is something that Mills still try to take advantage of. Even with that sell-on clause, they 
do need options in midfield ahead of the new season and McCormick is a player who could be a strong addition for them in that position. As a result, the fact McCormick could be available on a free now ought to be appealing to Gary outside in the wake of the financial challenges clubs have faced over the past year. Indeed, since he is available on a free, it means that even if they do have to pay a sell-on percentage to Chelsea, Mill would still be guaranteed to make a profit on the midfield with any future sale. So this does seem to make sense for them to try and do for another club beat them to it um would it if he's available on a free then surely he would go around or his agent will go around and get the best deal for him unless he actually wants to come from Millwall for some reason he would be being shopped around wouldn't he and then they go with the best deal that, that comes up or maybe he wants to go somewhere where he might be playing I don't know, but you know, we'll see. But we'll see how it works out. Cause I've added it to the list, the list of uh, players that we've been linked with so far this summer. And here you go: Jamie Patterson, Bristol City; Cameron Brannigan, Oxford City. Uh, is that Oxford City or shouldn't that be Oxford United? I think that should be Oxford United. Charlie White, Sunderland; Ryan Porteous, Hibernian. Jay Matate, Fleetwood Town, Alan Campbell, Motherwell, Tuba Akpom, Middlesbrough, uh, Luke McCormick, Chelsea. So there you go, he's added to the list. Let's see how many of these uh, players who we've been linked with in the press actually uh, works out. As, as uh, news develops and time marches on, I'll, I'll let you know where they actually go. And I'm pretty sure that it won't be me or wall. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, so that's it for today's me or wall news. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.